All right, it's been a while since we were able to uh, watch Welcome a back, Frosty YouTube. video. Let us see what our favorite Diablo 4 super fans are saying. We love the Frosty LaRue in this channel. Uh, always, always give this guy a like and a sub. Creates great content. And uh, they're always funny. They're always very, very funny. Very, very sarcastic. Diablo 4, and I guess Path of Exile, Last Debuck, and any other ARPG super fans. Super fans. This video is for all you Diablo 4 skeptics who yep. have been on the fence about playing this magnificent game, or at one time did play, and for some stupid ass reason, I, I mean, super legitimate yep. and not dumb at all reason, stop playing this perfect game. Man, it still reminds me of how bad season one was. Season one of Diablo 4 was like one of the big ultimate disappointments and three as well, but especially one. Like, dude, season one Diablo 4 was when all of us were just like, oh God, what are we doing? What are we doing? And by the way, that's when Frosty started making his first Diablo videos, just making fun of it. And we all just jumped on in because it was, he was giving a voice to the people. I will be going over the major changes and new features in the Diablo oh, 4 we expansion. Just did that. Hell yeah. And we'll why see what he says. you are going to love it. So, first up, the okay. skill tree. Yes. Yes. I know many of you coming. Revamped from two choices to still two choices. But now, instead of just this fireball, we're also getting this kind of like extra frosty ability. Yeah. From PoE and Last Epoch. Have Dude, this chart. Oh my god. This is unironically what got me to start playing Last Epoch, by the way. The fact that this fireball, you can go, you know, the damage over time or the higher crit damage. That's it. And then Last Epoch, you can make the fireball into a chain fireball. You can make it bounce. You can make it explode. You can make it into a flamethrower. You can make it do this. You can make it do that. You can make it do extra damage. You can make it like a frost fireball. You can make it do lightning damage to make it like a plasma thing. Like, oh my god, dude. I mean, it's just like, it just, it just goes on and on and on. And that's not even going into like the items that affect the abilities or anything like that. That's just the skill tree. And every level just makes it matter. Oh my god, it's so good. You're welcome. Exactly. Uh, thank you, Aku. I need to play some Last Epoch again. Yeah, we were just playing it two days ago, uh, Mystic Arc. It is it is my favorite ARPG on the market right now for a reason. It is. It genuinely is. Thrown some shade at our beloved skill tree, yep. saying, it's so simple. It is. It doesn't have any meaningful options. Nope, it and doesn't. And it looks more like a skill twig. It is. Well, I skill twig versus skill tree is too real. I have great news that's going to blow your freaking mind. Oh, man. With the completely revamped skill tree. Now, at first glance, you're probably a bit overwhelmed. So let me make... It, it, they, just, they just added a couple of extra actives and a couple of extra passives. That's it. That's, that is the, that is the updated skill tree. Oh my god. It's simple for you. Let's zoom into this section that changed. Oh no, no, not th that's uh, the Jacob, same. what do you mean? Okay, maybe a bit. What do I think about Path of Exile? I like Path of Exile. I've played hundreds of hours of Path of Exile. Uh, it's a great game. My problem is Path of Exile builds. You need like a PhD to understand and like get completely right. Or literally just live on the game and play nothing else for the rest of your life. <clears throat> I'm not a big fan of that. It is overly complicated, overly obtuse, and uh, the community uh, is not very helpful in that way because they'll basically say you're playing the game wrong and and not really be helpful in general. That's what I found. But Path of Exile 2 is changing a lot of that. So I'm really excited for Path of Exile 2, Jacob. And I like Path of Exile 1. Like, I, I we even played it, like, I would say... 20 odd hours over the past couple of months with Settlers of Kalgore. That Settlers of Kalgore expansion, super good. Super good, uh, for example. And that, that did a lot to change a lot of the issues. Like, they made melee better and all kinds of stuff. More down. Ah, yes, that's it. You Ooh. see how we have this line here? Uh -oh. This is a game changer. Huge game changer. Now there's a line. No longer will we need to take this node to take mm -hmm. this node. Can you even imagine what we can do Huge. with this extra skill point? All the meaningful skill options yep. are probably endless now. You see that last epoch? You thought Blizzard wasn't going to come close to your ability. If that's like all the changes that they have, that and a couple extra abilities, I'm going to be so sad. And I think that's exactly what it is. Skill tree. But like I said, they need to take out 
some of the complication from Paragon and the Paragon boards and put it into the skill trees. Because right now the skill trees for Diablo 4 are just pathetic. Like they're just they're just pathetic. Oh my god, absolutely Dare pathetic, I say, bro. I think we blow yours out of the water now. <clears throat> oh, and I did not forget about you, Path of Exile oh, players, yes. who think building our classes are too easy. Well, what if I told you that the complexity now comes in our Paragon board? Maybe the most hard <clears throat> system ever in any ARPG. I hate it. I actually don't like the Paragon board at all. I know many of us Diablo 4 fans were asking for a revamp to this system, and the Diablo yep. 4 team sure listened with the new and vastly improved Paragon boards. What's changed, you asked? Well, why is he putting all of his points into one board? What is he doing, man? This is, this is giving me conniptions, bro. Unlike before, we are now locked to only five P boards. Yes. And because a lot of our major defensive options come from here, we can no longer just copy a build from Max Roll for top DPS, yep. as we need to make sure we hit certain defensive breakpoints based on the gear we currently have in relation to the torment difficulty we are on. Oh no. Oh no. Frosty, like, I, I, I wish Frosty was just joking here. He's not, guys. He is not. Oh, jeez. How fun. Great. I'm sure the average Diablo 4 player is going to be so freaking pumped oh, to be baby. doing this type of advanced thinking. And I know for a fact you will, too, in the upcoming expansion for Diablo 4, Vessel of Hatred. Anyway, you know, I'm going to deal with the uh, Paragon board, like, you know, all these breakpoints and everything the same way I deal with, um, uh, you know, stuff in, in Diablo 4 right now. I just skip it. I just skip it and I just do literally none of it. Uh, and I just put the points wherever I can and try to get to the cool abilities like your bleeds now stun and, you know, things like that. Like, I'll, I'll go to like the fun abilities. And um, if I die, I die. I just I just don't care. I literally just don't care. And then I play a better game called Last Epoch. Yeah, that is how I deal with it in, in Diablo 4 right now. It's probably how it's going to continue. Hey, for those eagle yeah, speaking of PhD and skill management, yeah, exactly. Eared out there, you may have just heard me Like say I said, the Paragon boards are too fucking complicated. And the skill twig is too fucking weak. And too fucking useless. And too fucking small uh, and pathetic in, in Diablo 4. That, that's exactly it's a torment exactly. and thought to yourself oh my god torment difficulty oh my just god like the difficulty system in diablo 3 where we had 16 levels of this shit where 15 levels of them were just useless at end game because everyone was on the max level anyway well you're damn right uh, no is that what it is is that is that is that torment is the same thing i didn't pay attention to it Oh, dude, if they're copying anything from Diablo 3, like, Jesus fucking Christ, please don't do it. Don't do it. Yeah, I dro drop points in a square and make a beeline to things you want. Exactly. As yeah, yeah. over at Blizzard brought this system back, but instead of 16 levels, we have four levels. And instead of 15 useless ones, we, we only, only have, have three useless, useless ones. ones. Yeah. Now, if Great. that didn't just make you want to buy this expansion oh, for the man, low, low I can't price wait. of one last epoch plus five dollars, because no way- One last epoch plus five dollars. That's a really good way to look at the price of the expansion. Why would you say something, Frosty, so controversial, yet so brave? In hell would Diablo stoop down to that low price? Oh my then god. Then maybe this next feature will convince you. So, we all know max level in Diablo is 100. Yep. Hell, even Path Sat of Exile and Last Epoch are 100. So with the expansion, you would assume the Diablo 4 team was going to pull some epic move and make the level cap something like 200. Well, nope. think again. Instead of going with something that made sense, they made the new level the most perfect number of all time. 60. 60. Yep. Why 60, you ask? Well, if I have to tell you, then it's probably not even worth telling you. There, There is no particular reason why they did it. Basically, what they wanted to do is make most of the game, levels 1 through 50, us leveling up our skill tree, and then us only have to worry about Paragon boards for 10 levels. Because having uh, 50 levels worth of Paragon skills, and that's it, was really, really boring. 
that's that's what it was. That was our feedback. And so they decided to just make that leveling experience for the Paragon just 10 levels instead. I actually don't know. Yeah. But anyway, you may think this lower level will be easier to hit I think that's leveling. my guess. Well, actually, it takes a bit longer, which is exactly what we all wanted. Yep. Right? Yep. Now, before... More time in between levels. Perfect. That's what we always wanted, guys. Before I get to some of my favorite new features, I want everyone to know that one feature, maybe the most renowned, most awesome, most super great feature in Diablo history is... If he's talking about the mercenaries, I'm actually excited for the mercenaries. Making its way back. And without further ado, you wanted it. You asked for it. Oh, no. Are there more Lilith's altars of... Do you, you know something funny, guys? I still don't have all the altars of Lilith. When I was saying that I just gave up on some of the stupider aspects of Diablo 4, I wasn't kidding. I've gotten to max level. I've done endgame activities. You don't need the altars of Lilith to do them. So I just never got them. I could easily put up a map and, and you know, you just chunk it out in like half an hour. Just go across on my horse to every single altar and just click it. I just refuse to do so because it's a stupid fucking activity. And God damn it, I don't want to do it. So I just decided not to do it. But I think what he's saying is we're about to get more. All right, you loved it. Altars of Lilith statues are back. Why? Why? Why would Blizzard do this to us? Uh, nothing in Diablo 4 infuriates me more than seeing this piece of shit right here. Nothing. And we'll be helping you in the renowned grind in the new zones. Oh, great. Yes, you heard me right. More Everyone's renowned grind. Hell yeah. For renowned grinding. <clears throat> Excellent. And Altars of Lilith hunting are back. Damn, I can literally feel your excitement through the screen. Now, before you shut down this video and go meet- Oh yeah, Map Genie is exactly what I'm talking about, Existential. That's what people said. But for me, I just don't even bother. I know it'll only take me like 20 minutes to, do, uh, to get all the remaining Altars of Lilith because I've gotten most of them. I just don't give a fuck. It's like, oh, you got two strength for finding this altar. I don't give a fuck about two strength. Get the fuck out of here, Diablo 4. And I just don't do it. I literally, I, it's just, it's just spite. It's just actual spite at this point. Immediately buy vessels of hatred. And I, I like got the game. a few gate. more things I want to tell you about this awesome expansion. The Our first new system added to the game in this coming expansion. The rune words. Unironic W is here. rune words. I know, I know. These were from Diablo 2. Yeah. But it's new to Diablo 4, okay? It is. There are many new runes with many new abilities, such as summoning wolves that don't do any damage. Okay. True. Or give your character teleport. But oh no, no, it, it's not like Enigma. Wait, let's see these. Cast a skill with a cooldown. Gain crit strike chance up to 25%. Unironically, a really good skill right here. Um, Gain crit strike chance for five seconds. Oh god. Where you actually got. It's just, it's just flat. Flat increases. I thought it wasn't flat increases. They told me it wasn't flat increases. The, did the Blizzard team lie? This never happens. Gotta teleport. This this replaces your dodge, where that is now like a three meter teleport. And instead, yeah. um, but okay, don't worry about that. There are like two or three really cool rune words out there. There are, yeah. That are actually good. Yeah. And I'm sure everyone will be using the, vortex the same ones. ones, just like they did in Diablo 2. Another new update to the game is the number squish. So yeah, you ever just looked at a piece of gear and thought, yep. wow, 500 agility is way too high. I wish it was maybe like <laughs> now 50. We, now we only well, get 350. Crap, did yeah. I just hit for 1 billion damage? I really wish it was something more like 1,000 damage. When I knew when um, Rob, uh, who's another awesome Diablo 4 content creator that everyone watches, um, it, when he broke the game, and hit the literal max number cap of damage on a single damage ability, I knew they were going to do this. As soon as I saw that, I knew they were going to do it. Yeah, Barbillion damage, yeah, ex ex exactly, lol, Rob, yep. 
Exactly. Well, they heard us. And they heard us. Supposedly a number they squish has been implemented. Or so we thought. Yep. Wait. Wait. This is the guy. This is the guy who broke the game, by the way. And he did it again. Wait, look at this. We've reached it, boys. It's just an infinity sign. Yes. <laughs> we did it. No more numbers. Holy shit. Oh my okay, god. Well, I'm sure they'll figure that out before launch. I need to figure out what this build is. I, I need I need to figure out what this build is. Yeah. Yeah. I mean he's 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 it's another typical all three shouts and one damage ability, which makes me really sad. I hate those builds. But they're really strong for a reason. Up next, we have Fucking the new Rob. endgame co-op dungeon. Exactly. Because there's Rob. nothing us ARPG players want more than for our game to have more MMO elements in it, like a horse. To be fair, this is the coolest thing of Diablo 4. The fact that there are MMO elements in it. And I really do wish that they would actually lean more into it, unironically. Hate me if you want in the comments below. I don't give a fuck. I said what I said. Okay? This is the only thing that makes Diablo 4 unique. Like, I'm, I'm not... Uh, uh, whatever whatever the fact that there are events on the map and everything like that unironically one of the w parts of diablo 4 i wish like a lot more of the map was overworld and like you know less less shit with nightmare dungeons and so on and so forth like i like the overworld stuff more diablo 4 is at its best and has been at its best in season 4 season 5 and season 6 when the the hell tides are where everyone goes and everyone's in the same event area and everyone's doing like the hard random bosses and stuff all around the map and murdering stuff together i said what i said i'm right everyone loves hell tides why does everyone not love hell tides because the mmo element that is like a pseudo mmo element but at least there is the best part of this fucking game it's it that's what it happens it's what it is or content where you are required to interact with people but for those of you who have no one to play with you know who you are. Party finder well, system. Well, great news. Blizzard is implementing a group finder. There we go. Which I'm sure will be filled with the most kind and well-mannered players on the internet. Yep. And I bet they won't be toxic at all if yep. you are just trying to True. learn the mechanics for the first time. To be fair, he is, he is right on this point. Like, I am excited about the party finder system. I am sure it is going to have the exact same piece of shit mentality that the rest of the ARPG community has. Plus... The rest of the Blizzard community has with things like Overwatch, with things like World of Warcraft, where it's like incredibly elitist. They're gonna implement a gear score system. They're gonna do some like wacky shit like that. And if you don't hit every single metric they want, they're just never gonna be able to find a group. Absolutely. But you know what? You can always join my group, and we'll always dick around, and then we'll die, and we'll laugh about it. So if you want to join my group, twitch.tv slash capcorgy. There you go. Well, guys, if you have not Fuck. been convinced by now to pick up Vessel Break of Hatred, the then this last bit of info may just be the straw that broke the cow's back. Mm. Every new expansion since Diablo 2 Lord of Destruction, we yep. have gotten a new class, and this expansion yep. is no different. But instead of the... Not the Crusader, not the Paladin. That's what he's about to say. One most beloved class and archetypes of all time, <laughs> the Paladin, the Diablo 4 devs thought you should first experience their new idea for a class, the Spirit Born. This would be like if you ever went to a concert and all you wanted to hear was your favorite song yep. the band is known for. But and they don't do it. They say we'll do it next time. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. But had to sit through two hours of their new music <laughs> just God. waiting until they finally play that song that you came here Bro. for in the first place. Well, that's <laughs> the exact feeling you will have with the Spiritborn. I yep. know I love that feeling, and I'm sure... To be fair, Spiritborn does look cool, but it is no Paladin. He's absolutely right on this. He's absolutely right on this, and it makes me just want to play Last Epoch and make another Forge Guard, which is, and there, you know, you can do a Paladin pseudo class as well. Uh, not pseudo class, sorry, subclass. Yeah, completely agreed. Completely agreed. Whoops. Why can't I hear anything? Oh, I muted it. Sorry, Diablo 4 super fan. Feeling, and I am sure you will too. <laughs> That's it for this video. Yep. I hope to see you all in Sanctuary on October 8th. 
or don't. And you can just keep playing that dead game while all of us cool and super awesome people are playing Diablo 4. Exactly. Bye. Guys, ask us questions. Let's go. I'm actually surprised that he didn't bring up Path of Exile 2 coming out in one month. Like, I definitely would have expected Frosty LaRue to make a joke about, yeah, everyone will play this game for literally 30 days, and then Path of Exile 2 comes out, and no one will play Diablo 4 again. So, Spiritborn's <laughs> the next class. It's like low-hanging fruit, bro. If you a class after that, what mm. would you want next? Not Paladin. Get Ben. Wow. Flame me and Shad. Paladin's the worst class in this a, game. I think, controversy a, play. I, think, I think that's a bad call, man. Yeah. That is a bad call. I don't call. even have the holy archetype. I know, I know, I know. No, that's I, bad, I, I, guys. No, I, 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 macro, you <laughs> suck. No, you, you, no, no, no <laughs> let me... Just, let me <laughs> macro, you suck. That was a good video, guys. What do you guys think of the video? Frosty LaRue, very funny guy. I'll link his video in chat. Um, he's actually been really kind to me as well. Really, really real one. He shouted me out in, his, in, in a video of his. He actually featured me in one of his videos, two of his videos. Uh, my idiotic diatribes and everything like that. He was very, very nice. But absolutely, give his video a like and a sub. Share it with your friends. And I will put this video up soon so you can watch it on my channel as well. In all of our discussions. Watch Vessel be bad. Mark my words. Dude, it's their last chance. It's their last, last chance. Their, their last 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 chance frosty larue said it best it's their last of the last chance exactly i don't think i don't think uh vessel will be bad i think vessel will be a little disappointing in certain aspects um but i don't think it'll be bad like i, I think like you know the skill tree revamp is just not a revamp so everyone will be like wow this is just kind of dumb but besides that i think it'll be all right i think it'll be all right we'll see how it goes we'll see how it goes I do want to point out Path of Exile has 6,000 viewers and um, uh, Diablo 4 has 500. So that's that's a that's a great sign. That is that is a great sign. Oh my god.